been over an hour. I gotta fix my hair. I gotta do it with Bobby. What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? How dare you? What if I was doing something stupid, Red? Uh, as opposed to this? I happen to be flosser sizing, right? Oh, you know what? This is really ridiculous, even for you. For your information, flosser sizing contains the benefits of dental hygiene as well as a full aerobic workout. And I think people will pay dearly for that, right? Someone is gonna pay dearly for that, all right, you weirdo! Ah! Ah! Donnez out there! Okay. La plume de ma tante est dans le bureau de mon oncle. The plum in my pants? That can't be right. You are the most infuriating... You're infuriating... Hey, 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 look. I have one day to learn French. That's realistic. Don't worry, Ren won't disturb you anymore. Just make sure Miss Prissy Pants respects my floss time. Well, when I get my hands on you, you will not have teeth left to floss! Oh, is that a, is that a threat? I promise! Guys, ah, hold it! You guys need to see this. What? You're lifting weights in your bathing suit? We already saw that. Oh. I mean, this. Get out of the it shower! Out. It's my hey. shower! Always, hey. always with the shit. Will you guys cut it out? Look, I was trying to take the football game last week, but I got this instead. Welcome back to Sibling Sessions. Now, Kevin, I want you to turn to your sister, Wendy. I want you to tell her from your heart, okay? The real reason why you treat her the way you do. Kevin, you're in way over your head, man. Get out. Shh, get I out. hear this. It's nothing against you, Wendy. You're the best. I guess the reason I act the way I do is because of my own insecurities. Deep down, I'm just a loser. A Kevin guy is a disgrace to brothers everywhere. Yeah, Kevin. You know, they film that right here in right Sacramento. Here you guys should go in for an audition. I'm in for that. I mean, that host seems really insightful. Yeah. There is nothing in the world that would make me go on that show. And for appearing on our show today, Kevin and Wendy will receive two tickets to Happy Mountain Amusement Park. That's Happy Mountain. A whole big heap of fun, all your money back. Happy Mountain, Daddy like it. It's Bobby. Mm-hmm. Like you. You see? He's fitting in it like a new car. Try to keep your disappointment in check, Ren. It's only your oldest and dearest friend, Nelson. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just expecting Bobby. I know. That's why I'm here. He called me and asked me to tell you that he had to cancel. He had some work to finish up with his lab partner or something. Oh, I wonder why I didn't just call. He tried. I tried. Your phone's out of order. Really? Out of order? Happy Mountain, the big old rock of fun! Louis, what did you do to my phone? Oh, uh, uh, your phone... About that, um... Yeah. No, don't worry, Ren's phone is totally waterproof. Oh! Oh! The shower? All right. <laughs> hey, save it for the show. Oh, excuse me, Nelson. I gotta get back to work. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Bonjour, comment allez food? What are you trying to do? I'm studying French. I have this date tomorrow with this beautiful foreign exchange student. Mm, bon chance, mon ami. Hey, did you know you speak French? Yeah. I spent two summers at French camp. I thought it was going to be something else, but it turned out to be okay. Hey, you want to come on a date with me to translate? You want me to go on the date with you? But what if she says something, you know, personal? Uh, well, you can still translate. Just plug your ears. Right. taking me to nurseville sure how'd you do that well i was just trying to see if it was uh possible to give myself a wedgie <laughs> turns out i can oh oh i feel so much better <laughs> that's really weird so how do you get your arm to bend like that i have a flexated skeletal structure in layman's terms i'm double jointed i hope it comes in handy later in life <laughs> thanks ren guess i won't be needing nurseville in the science lab. It's Bobby. And 
Amanda always gets her man Sanchez. Do not tell me that he was her lab partner. He failed to mention that part on the phone. Hi, Bobby. Hey, Ren. Mandy. Ren? Love the lipstick. That color works so well on your thin lips. Uh, you know, I really wonder what it would look like on a fat lip. <laughs> okay, um, Ren, don't you need to talk to Bobby about that thing? Oh, the, the, thing, the, thing, the thing, the thing, the thing. Yeah. yeah, excuse me, just a second, I need to talk to my boyfriend. <sighs> okay, why didn't you tell me that Mandy was your lab partner? I don't know, I didn't think it'd matter. Does it matter? Yeah, she's totally flirting with you. Hey, come on, it's just Mandy, I mean, she does it with everyone. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I'm just overreacting. So I'll see you later? Of course. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it? They just can't cancel? Where am I supposed to find two bickering siblings at a moment's notice? You didn't trip me. Uh, now why would I do that? It's not like you've got goopy ice cream in my hair. Uh, did it ever occur to you that your hair got in my ice cream? Did that enter your skull? Hello, I'm David Blackburn. Sir, yeah, I'm, I'm Louis Stevens. This is Cruella. Great, great, great. Look, you're going in five minutes, okay? And um, save the delightful squabbling for the cameras, huh? Wait, Mr. Blackburn, great, uh, we just came in here for an interview and you want us on the show right now? Sir, uh, excuse me, uh, when I win the tickets for Happy Mountain, do I get some kind of VIP pass or something? Like, can I cut all the lines or do I have to wait for the slobs? What's the deal, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. This, this is Sibling Sessions, right? Uh, what happened to the dignified set? It's trashed. Sibling Sessions is now Sib Wars. We kind of stunk in the ratings, so we had to jazz up the format. It happens to everyone. Here at the 6 o'clock news is getting jousting sticks. Hair, baby. Hair! That's yours. Thank you. All right. Is my hair on straight? It's good. Darren! Uh... So Ren made the best man win. No, forget this, okay? Sibling Sessions was a forum for intelligent discussion. <laughs> Sib Wars? Come on, it's just a cheesy game show. And you're afraid of losing to me in front of everyone. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what did you You're afraid of losing to me okay, in front of everyone. Okay, because there is nothing in the world that you could possibly beat me at. <laughs> I could even grow a mustache before you. Y you could? In fact, it's coming in quite nicely. Okay, you want to throw down with your big sis? Yeah, you're invading well, my space you, right do now. You, 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 you want to you piece of me? You're in my bubble. You want to piece of me? I want to throw down like you this. Do? You do? I want to you choke you. Not a piece. Okay, hold me back. Because I'm coming at you. No, 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 no. I know. 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 Fine. Welcome to the new and improved Sib Wars with your host, the handsome, the talented, David Blackburn. That's me. Let's meet our battling sibs, Lewis and Rin Stevens. <laughs> All right, Rin, why don't you tell me a little something about your brother? Oh, well, he's in uh, seventh grade. He eats cereal through his nose, and he wears my mother's slippers. Wait, wait, let me, let me, let me make that clear. Um, I only wear them because they're cozy. We're not here to judge, okay? Right. <laughs> <laughs> Mama slippers. <laughs> Lewis, tell me a little something about Rin here. Ren's in the eighth grade. She alphabetized her underwear and she has webbed feet. I do not have webbed feet. Really? Ren, then uh, explain to me the skin uh, you know between what? the toes. You should not be Why don't you explain to me what that is? There. Don't even look at my toes. I don't want you to talk anymore. You're toe You are. are. Woo okay. That's good stuff. Let's get started. Round one. Brain Busters. Where we're going to test your knowledge on a variety of subjects. See ya. Ow! Our categories are... Funny fat guys. Things that smell like other things. Pranks on grandma. Well, excuse me, what is this? This is stupid. And our last category, this is stupid. Now, this involves things that are really, really stupid. All right, Lewis, you're the youngest. You choose first. I'll take funny fat guys, Dave Lush. This comic, Chris Farley. That is correct. Next category. Well, Dave Rooney, I'll take uh, pranks on grandma. You're at Thanksgiving dinner. Hiding her dentures inside the turkey. Amazing. That is correct. Shoes. Animals dressed as humans. That's my favorite one. Okay, welcome back. The score for the end of round one is Lewis Stevens, 500. <laughs> Ren Stevens, zero. It's time for round two. The Pudding Pit of Doom! <laughs> Rin Stevens, 
This is your chance to catch up. They will both walk out onto the plank. The objective to this game is to force your opponent into the tub of generic pudding-like substance. You have to use trickery, evil facial expressions, or a combination of the two. Oh, and uh, watch for hidden surprises. <laughs> the last one standing wins 500 points. Prepare to plunge, pudding boy. That's the spirit. Ready? And go! Hey, Randy, when you fall on the pudding, your web feet are going to come in handy. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know, Louis, this is really ridiculous. You win. I'm out of here. What are you talking about? Are you leaving? No! <laughs> you can't beat me. I'm the prince of the plank, friend. You can't beat me. No, I'm the prince of the plank. Unfortunately, that's not the best tasting pudding. <laughs> the score is now tied, but we're out of time. Lewis and Rin will be back tomorrow for the final round, where they'll have 60 seconds to humiliate each other. And I encourage you both to get nasty. Sandrine, you are very pretty. Sandrine, to très jolie. Merci. Thank you. Le poulet est très magnifique. Et le pomme de terre. Mm. Dude, she's blowing kisses at me. What'd she say? She really likes the food. Oh. And that she's never seen an American man with such handsome features. For real? No. And qu'est-ce qu'elle a dit? Et la langue intelligente, de croissant de beurre. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, Nelson, why don't you run along? I, I can take it from here. Oh, no. What? Are you okay? You pesky little pepper. Are you okay? No, I'm allergic to peppers. I get severe hot face. Well, son, are you malade? Oui, un petit peu. Tu es chaud. Pauvre bébé, viens avec moi. Check this out, check this out. I got run in the ultimate humiliation. I'm serious, just look. Here we go. Bam. Look at that. Uh, all she's doing is brushing her teeth. No, no, look at the technique. You see that? She's doing that upward thing. You're not supposed to be doing that. You're supposed to be doing the little circles. Oh, see, I, got circle. I got it. I got it. You got nothing. You're right. I got nothing. She's as clean as a Dutch whistle. I'm toast. Do you see what I see, man? What? Do you see that? Dude, you don't have a chance with her. No, no, no. Dude. Hey, isn't that Ren's boyfriend? Yeah, that's not Ren. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. We gotta film this. There we go. Yeah, you're getting there, right? Uh, 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 uh. It's a jackpot. This is so good, it's scary. Donnie, va me chercher une serviette mouillée. She said bring me a cool washcloth and some milk and cookies and step on it. No, Nelson, you're looking much better right now. Allez, allez. Sandrine, tu es très gentil. Tu es mon petit chou délicat. Oh, what should I do with the uh, milk and cookies? Oh, those are for you. You can take them outside to the yard. Sandrine, est-ce que tu savais que je suis de Sakitouli? <laughs> no, c'est vrai? Oui. <laughs> I'm going to humiliate Louis by showing his actual bed sheet. This stain right here is a mixture of pasta, pork gravy, and cat hair. And we don't have a cat, so you guys just do the math. Now, this mystery stain over here has actually started to grow spores. Yes, tiny fungus. We're waiting for the lab results. <sighs> oh, well, you're out of time, Rin. Nice work. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, you cut him to shreds and then you stomped on it. All right. <laughs> Woo! Lou. Lewinsky. <laughs> you must be totally humiliated. What's, no, I'm okay. I'm okay. Well, you're going to have your opportunity to put your sister, Rin Stevens, on the throne of shame when we return after these low-budget local messages. All right, kids, take a break. Hmm. Okay. 
Dude, you're looking a little wobbly there. Yeah, well, at least I'm still standing. Can't wait till I get it on the throne. Give me the tape. Yeah, dude, after you show that tape of Bobby and Mandy, your skanky sheet is gonna be smelling like a rose and she'll be crying like a baby, bro. Yeah! Let's go, right. go get him, man. Go get him. And we are back. This time, Ren Stevens is on the throne of shame. So, Ren, I'm guessing if you win here today, you're not gonna be taking your brother to Happy Mountain with you. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm actually taking someone really special. Oh, now who would this special someone be? Well, my boyfriend, Bobby. Boyfriend? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Can I say hi? Give a shout out. Hi, Bobby. I, I just wanted to say hi, and I'm really happy we're together, and I just hope we can stay together for a really long time. <laughs> okay. That was so precious. <laughs> Lewis, you're up. This is your opportunity to humiliate your sister. Yeah. Well? Well, uh, Ren is... Ren, uh... Well, the truth is, uh, sir, I didn't come today. That, that is so typical. Well, I mean, I did catch her brushing her teeth inefficiently. But I taped over that. Well, uh, my little friend, I'm sorry, but, uh, that does nothing to help your case. Or our ratings for that presentation. So, I am forced to declare... Ren Stevens, the winner! Hey, what you doing? Oh, hi, Ren. I'm just thinking. Finger cheese. No, oh, thanks. No? Yeah. How's it feel to be a big winner? All right, I guess. Yeah. What's the deal with the show? It was like you didn't even try to humiliate me. Not that you even could, but... Ren? Here. Where is it? Here. I think there's something you should say. What's this? Not so good. It's uh, over. No. Yeah. No, Ren. I'm sorry. You okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. All right. Look, I want to thank you for not showing the tape on TV. Oh no, Ren, you're my sister. I wouldn't do you like that. I know, but still. Yeah. Thanks. Mm-hmm. So, Ren, I mean, would this be a bad time to ask you about taking me to Happy Mountain? Yeah, this would be a bad time. It would. What? What was I thinking? Um, sorry. And when do you think you'll know? I, I don't know. You don't know even guess? No. No. Hmm. Right. Right, of course. Ren, listen, I'm trying to be sensitive, okay? But how long will whatever you're going through take to end, Ren? I don't know, Louis. Try when I'm feeling a little better. Right, I didn't mean it like that. I don't want you to be mad at me or anything. I right, practice standing sit-ups is what I'm doing. Ren, listen. Cool. I still got it. She's been around the world and battled countless villains, but nothing could prepare her for this drama. Watch Disney's Kim Possible movie, So the Drama, tomorrow at 8, 7 central, right here on Disney Channel.